Oh, I guess it's foggy. It's very foggy. I wonder who that could be. Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings! Feelings like... The joy of finding another pasta lover! The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills! The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool! These feelings... They must be what you are feeling right now! I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way! After all, I am very great! I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like! I pity you, lonely human! Worry not! You shall be lonely no longer! I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No! No, this is all wrong! I can't be your friend! You are a human! I must capture you! Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream! Powerful! Popular! Prestigious! That's Papyrus! The newest member of the Royal Guard! But you're not a dog! Uh-oh. Papyrus blocks the way! Papyrus. Check. Pretty sure insulting wouldn't really help. He likes to say, nyeh heh -heh. Yep, yes he does. That was intimidating. Whispers nyeh -heh. I guess I'll flirt! So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards! I can make spaghetti! I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no! That humility! It reminds me of... myself! You're meeting all my standards! Let's date later, after I capture you! Are these bones actually gonna reach the heart this time? No, Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Let's do it again! Oh no! That's the same deal. Twice times, twice times. Alright, well... He's thinking about what to cook for his date. We'll do it again! You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Oh, so at this point, I just spare. I'm gonna spam spare again. Wait, what? Papyrus dabs some bone cologne behind his <laughs> spare. So you won't fight? Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! Ah! If he actually tried to dodge that, that would have been hard. <gasps> hey! I was unprepared. You're blue now! Yeah. Which means I have to hop, I guess. That's my attack! <laughs> You're blue now. He's too busy fighting to flirt back. Oh no. Jump! Jump! Ah! I forgot I had to hold it down. Dabs, MTT brand, BC cream, blah, 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 blah. Spare again! Okay, try holding the up button to jump! Thanks for telling me! Jump! Okay. Papyrus, oh, same thing, okay. What? I'm not thinking about that day thing! Jump! Jump! Jump again! Jump again! Crap! <laughs> you have to do it right away with those ones. Papyrus stab, same thing again. I got it! I got it! Ow! Okay. And... Am I supposed to do another one? Can I just spare it again? Yeah! Don't make me use my special attack! Ah, 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 ah. Oh crap! Um, spare again! I can almost taste my future popularity! Ah, no! No! Ah. Ah, realizes he doesn't have ears. 
Virus, head of the Royal Guard! Ow. Is trying hard to play it cool. Am I right in just continually sparing? Papyrus Unparalleled Spaghettor! I guess. Okay. Oh, crap! Ugh. Ow. Is considering his options. Does that mean I should flirt again? Okay, I don't know where... Oh, crap! Same thing! Oh no! This could be bad. Yep. You're too weak! I was easily able to capture you! I will now send you to the capture zone! Or, as Sans calls it, our garage! You're in the doghouse now! Yeah! Okay, was that one unwinnable? Because if so, I will have complaints because I almost used food to heal and food costs gold and I hate the fact that there would be like these unwinnable things that don't tell you they're unwinnable and make you waste all your items. I didn't, thankfully, but if it really was an unwinnable battle, that's stupid. It's a squeaky chew toy. And this, it's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. <laughs> Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Nephily yours, Papyrus! Okay. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. It's too small to sleep on. Well, there is a window. And a mouse hole. Dang it. Well, what about this one? Nope. What about the front door? Fair enough. Um... I'm gonna go save real quick. Ah, uh, maybe I should have taken the whole underground passage thing. Too late for that now. Yep, we're gonna keep walking. Almost there. Here we are, good, okay. So, the side is just running down, blah, 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 yes. Save, good. Okay, now I'll take this and see what happens. That is a lot faster, when you don't actually have to walk. Let's try to go through the front door. It's locked. Darn. But now I could probably keep continuing to the right, because I doubt Papyrus will be there to stop me. But we'll see. Up, oh, nope, Papyrus is there again. Oh, where could that human have gone? Wait, it's right in front of me. Hello, I was worried that you had gotten lost. It sure is a relief to know that you're right here. Wait a second, you're not supposed to escape. Get back there. Darn it, do we have to fight it? We have to fight again. Papyrus blocks the way another time. Okay, let's see then. Yeah, it likes to sing. Yeah, it doesn't really help me. Dang it, and I'm blue again. And I press Z instead of up to jump. Didn't work out. Is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh, I just realized when I'm actually fighting, I know I can jump. Can I use the other arrows to move? I didn't even try that yet. Um. I mean, he's still thinking about the whole date thing. I'll try it one more time just to be sure. I can move! Dang, that makes things a lot easier. I didn't even think about that before. Alright, well, let's fight back then. Okay. And... Good, yeah, this timing is a lot easier when you can actually move freely. Okay. And here we are. Ah, <laughs> Ow. Dang it, I almost dodged it off. Mm, this time, I will dodge everything. Ha ha ha, eat it. Eat it, I dodged that too. I mean, I figure I don't want to kill him. But I'll gradually work him down. Right? Um... Also, when I hit, I just start, like, rapidly tapping Z in order to not miss, I guess, and actually apply damage. I don't know if that's accurate, but that's what I'm, I've am i been doing. 
So, no, 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 no. 47. He's almost half health. Ah! 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 Ha ha ha! It's so much easier to dodge. Okay. Oh! I press Z again instead of up to jump. Which doesn't work. And. I think now that he's at half health, I'm gonna try a different approach. Ow, oh, crap. So instead, let's. In, I actually realize this doesn't have ears. Okay. Insult him! He's too busy fighting to accept your insult. Okay, so I just have to keep fighting, right? I don't know, but that's what it sounds like. Fight then. How low does he have to go, though? If this is even the way, I don't even know if this is the way. I just have, like, no better ideas right now. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah! They're moving! That makes it difficult. Okay. Oh. oh. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, good. That worked out. All right. It's rattling his bones. But I can't. I think a little lower. And dating might be kind of hard. Oh. Dang it. Yeah, okay. Wait, wait. I'm not done yet, I guess. Is rattling his bones, so spare now. I don't, oh, might be kind of hard after you're captured and sent away. He wasn't finished talking yet. I get it. Is rattling his bones. Ah! Who cares? Give up! No! I'll never give up! Okay, are you done now? Is preparing a bone attack. Give up or face my special attack! No, I will not give up, but I might die again. I guess we'll see. Smells like bones. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack! Ah, no! They came from the other side. Not prepared. It's preparing a bone attack. Hey, seriously. I guess I should keep fighting him. Actually, I might die right here. I'm gonna have an ice cream. Is this as sweet as you, Rigor 15 now? Okay, this is your last chance before my special attack. No, no, let's see what your special attack is then. So I'm just gonna spare. Behold, my special attack! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey! What are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack! Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Son of a gun! When will you be done? It's an absolutely normal attack! You know, for an absolutely normal attack, that was pretty good, Papyrus. Hey, then he can Oh, cool. Dude. <laughs> good thing I can. Ah! Fly almost endlessly, I guess. Now, are you done, Papyrus? Can we stop fighting? Is that, is that the end, that little bone? Wow! It's clear you can't defeat me! Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots! Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity! I will spare you, human! Now's your chance to accept my mercy! And let's just act out yellow. <laughs> Sorry, I want to read that. Oh, Papyrus is sparing you. Okay, spare. We did it! Yay! 
you! I can't even stop someone as weak as you! The knight's going to be disappointed in me! I'll never join the royal guard! And my friend quantity will remain stagnant! What should you say? Let's be what a friends, loser. Sorry, that's how I read it straight across. What a loser, let's be friends. Let's be friends! <laughs> really? You wanna be friends with me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you! Wowie! We haven't even had our first date! And I've already managed to hit the friend zone! <laughs> Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? <laughs> oh no, you taught me a lot, human! I hereby grant you permission to pass through! And I'll give you directions to the surface! Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern! Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier! That's the magical seal trapping us all underground! Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit! Except someone with a powerful soul! Like you! Ugh, my throat hurts! <laughs> That's why the king wants to acquire a human! He wants to open the barrier with soul power! Oh. Then us monsters can return to the surface! Oh, I almost forgot to tell you! To reach the exit, you will have to pass... ...through the king's castle! Ah, uh, that's not a great thing. The king of all monsters! He is... ...well... ...he's a big fuzzy pushover! <laughs> Everybody loves that guy! I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Oh, Dreamer, okay. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself! Anyway, that's enough talking. Thank you. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have it that day. And then he laughs and then he runs off. Over. He's floating apparently, but I'm gonna drink. Oh goodness. Oh goodness, okay. If you watched my Explorers of Sky playthrough, he's like a mix of Chadot and the friggin' Lemon from Adventure Time. <laughs> uh, what was his name again? Just Lemon Grab? Whatever. Screw that voice. Oh, uh, okay, well, look, we made progress here. We're doing great, okay. Let's see then if we can't find the castle. Hey, look, he's there. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination, and we'll save here. Cool. Here's a flower. All that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. Okay. Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. Ride like flowey. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. I don't know who this is. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> okay. Whatever. No one cares. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs or what? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Sure. Well, you insist. I'll pry myself away from my work. I don't know if this was just like a way to fast travel back. Or... Actually, oh, maybe he did open up a shortcut, I don't know. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Everyone says hi to Sans. Sansy? Oh. Must be the bunny head gel lady. Mm. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, uh, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Okay. Here, get comfy. Yay, we have our own stool and we're going to stand upon it. <laughs> Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Burger? Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of burg. Oh, he's so cool. Thanks, Grillby. And thanks, Sans, because I sent me pay. So, what do you think of my brother? He's... alright. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. 
And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. I was gonna ask. All right, we got our burgers. Yes. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yes. Bon appetit. You dip, or you tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Well, I'll eat the ketchup covered hamburger. <laughs> anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let, be, let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was m midnight. <laughs> but the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. I see. Are you gonna scratch your butt again? Or... Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. What is it? <gasps> Spotlight! Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Why, yes. Yes, I have. So you know all about it. The Echo Flower. Oh, I meant, I meant Flowey, actually. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Or what about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. I guess the spotlight meant no one else could hear it? I don't know. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Right, Vlad, you invited me. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Dang, you have two jobs! Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 gold. Uh, I actually can't afford that. Just kidding. Grilby, put it on my tab. Thank you, because I only have like a few hundred. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Important, thank you for letting me know. Uh, do I not get to eat the burger? Yeah, all right. Thanks for all that. I guess we're heading off. Which means I'm just gonna walk all the way back to where we were. I'm gonna save there, and then we can pick it up again. Oh look, it's, it's Papyrus. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Are we going to Grail Base? Or are we going to your house? My house! <laughs> yep. Here we go. Oh, sweet place. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. What about this? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sons, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. <laughs> Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! <laughs> just a serious- I'm imagining a bunch of post-it notes on a sock. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Ah, physics. Welcome to my scenic my house! Oh, gotcha, okay. Enjoy and take your time! It's a couch. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. And I guess I'm just going to take it. Oh, no. Oh, it's my favorite game show! It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this! This is just a bad episode! Don't judge me! Okay, I assume this is, um, Pyrus's room. That's my room! Called it! If you finish looking around, 
We could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Uh, no, I'm gonna look around more and I'm not sure I wanna be alone with them like that. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones, got it. The door is locked and it seems to be on fire. I guess we'll go inside and see what happens. Finish looking around. We could go in and, yes. So, sure. Hmm. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. Yes, it just, it just barely happened. The internet, I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. Dozen away from double digits, hmm. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. You see, I wonder if it's just sans. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. <laughs> the ending always gets me. I see. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> That's his theory. It's a brilliant one. What are these? Action figures, I see. Ah, yes! Action figures! A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Oh. Sans. No, I meant Santa Claus. Santa! <laughs> and your bed is a race car bed. That's my bed! If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. I see, what if I talk directly to you? Oh, actually there was a closet check, huh? There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Look in the closet. Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Cool. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Sure. Okay, dating start. What do you think dating is? Oh, dating start. <laughs> Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepare without several letters from my name. <laughs> I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library! We're ready to have a great time! Let's see... Step 1, press the C keyboard... Oh, the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. C. It's Friday. There's a crime radar. Wow. Wowie! I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step 2! Step 2, ask them on a date. <clears throat> Human! I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you! Yes. Really? Wow! <laughs> I guess that means it's time for part three! Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care! He's already wearing nice clothes. Wait a second! Wear clothing? That bandana around your head. <gasps> Whoa, he actually knows I'm wearing a bandana! You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing! No! Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning! <laughs> sure, Papyrus. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! Date power? Whoa. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! Tension! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will! Well, you've never tried, but I can easily keep up with you! You see, I, too, can wear clothing! In fact, 
I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes! Really? Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date! Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? Uh, let's just pander him. A genuine compliment! Or maybe I should... Should I let... No, I want to increase my date power meter, right? However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. Okay. Let's check the cap. My hat! My hat! My hat! Yeah. Uh, whoa. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it. Is um uh, no idea. Yeah, that's right. You have no idea. No, this appears to be spaghetti. Okay, that's that was my thought, but I didn't know. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken case. Very cast. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. So if it's a present for me, and it's not just any spaghetti, then I think I should eat it. Go. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. Isn't it very bad? What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! <laughs> it's just gonna, yep. Wow, we broke the meter. We punched him in the face with our date power. Human, it's clear now! You're madly in love with me! Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake! Human, I want you to be happy too! It's time for me to express my feelings! It's time that I told you! I, Papyrus! Yes? I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? <laughs> oh shoot! Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. <laughs> Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for, for me. <laughs> but alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? It's a shame, isn't it? It's a darn shame. No! Wait! That's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human, I'll help you through these trying times! I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened! After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. <laughs> because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. <laughs> well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Okay, good. <clears throat> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. Yes, our cell phone's not useless now. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah! <laughs> and he's off. Okay. I think we're finally done with Papyrus for now. Which is fantastic news! So, so with all that, <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, of course, feel free to like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot. It really helps me out. And I would love to have you guys. So, until next time for the next video. Until then, take care.
take care. Cue outro, go!